AEW fires Kevin Kelly. Plus, the first AEW Dynasty match has been revealed, and an ECW legend is returning to the ring. It's all in the Cultaholic Wrestling News right now. So, some news today regarding a broadcaster from AEW. Yeah, so last night, eagle-eyed wrestling fans spotted that Kevin Kelly was missing from the AEW roster page. Now, PW Insider reported that Nigel McGuinness and Tony Schiavone called Collision as a two-man booth with Kelly not at the show at all. Uh, PW Torch, though, reports today that Kevin Kelly has indeed been fired from AEW. PW Torch also says his comments on social media recently directly cost him his job as a commentator on Collision. His firing does come after comments that he made on Twitter over the weekend of AEW Revolution. He claimed, among other things, that Ring of Honor lead announcer Ian Riccoboni had libeled him due to Kelly's promotion of an anti-child trafficking movie widely believed to be linked to QAnon. PW and Torch have noted that, as Andrew said, Kelly's firing was directly linked to his tweets over the weekend. Among other things he talked about, he also shared some uh, dissatisfaction with his particular experience in AEW. Yeah, he said, what I bring to the table is lost because Ian libeled me. So I sit on the bench, valued by my peers, waiting to get my number called. He continued later to say, I keep asking why, but get pushed aside. It's okay, because there is no one better than me. Ask the ones that know, and they'll tell you. And as PW Torch have said, some of the comments that he made over the weekend, as well as that one, uh, consequently led to a parting between AEW and Kevin Kelly. We'll have more on this story as we get it at cultaholic.com. Let's move to AEW Dynasty. We're getting a brand spanking new AEW pay-per-view in April. This is part of Tony Khan's plan to ratchet up the amount of pay-per-views that we get. We've already got the first match. And yes. I think if we only have this match and nothing else, Perfect. It'll be fine. Perfect. A whole a four-hour banger, yes, please. Yes! Uh, PW Insider report that Will Ospreay will face Brian Danielson next month at AEW Dynasty. Obviously, the two had a stare down uh, to end Dynamite on Wednesday, and I think a lot of us were super excited that this was the case. We're getting there very quickly, apparently, as well, which, do you know what? I don't mind that either. I don't mind it. I think we talked about this briefly yesterday when we, uh, when we did the news, in that Brian Danielson, I think, is very much on the the clock now yes yeah. like he's, he's kind of winding down and he wants to get those dream matches done while he can still go really hard mm -hmm. and why not give us a danielson osprey match as soon as possible honestly you could you could build the show around that opening encounter that first encounter ever between danielson and osprey yeah the mind boggles as to what they could do oh and they'll they will stay i feel like they will steal the show no matter what as well <sighs> uh, and of course you know as you were saying there the, the sort of the the clock is ticking almost for Brian Danielson, but I feel like Osprey would have definitely been one of the people that would be like, please let me wrestle you before you kind of like call your time. Please <laughs> let me wrestle you. <laughs> bruv, come on. Come on, Dragon. Bruv, come on. Let's go. They're, they're just going to have a banger. They're absolutely going to have mm. a I, Will Ospreay is, is such a great get for AEW. Admittedly, it would have been great to have seen him in Chase U. <laughs> <laughs> but we're seeing him in AEW and we're going to get the best version of him in AEW. They're just going to give him a big block of time and tell him to go out there and have bangers. He's already proved that with a match against Takeshi. Mm -hmm. had a great match against Carl Fletcher on Dynamite as well. And I think that's what he's there to do, to be the big match machine. And it opens up all sorts of possibilities for Wembley. I oh, think yeah. if you don't have Will Ospreay in a feature position, maybe a title position, yeah, by Wembley, mm -hmm. you've, you've missed a trick, haven't you? Do you know what? Like For, for a little while, I was thinking that Ospreay uh, may have gone up against Samoa Joe for the AEW World Championship, uh, but this was also actually one of the matches that I maybe thought about was like Brian Danielson and Will Ospreay in a huge match at Wembley would have been incredible too. Uh, but yes, I feel like perhaps... Perhaps Osprey in a title match of some sort, whether that's you know the TNT title or the international title or the world title, whatever, some sort of title uh, match at uh, AEW All In would be tremendous for him for sure. Yeah. Keep an eye on Will Osprey's Twitter because coming soon is a documentary all about his final 
bit of time in Japan as part of New Japan Pro Wrestling. It's put together by Mark Ashley Films, a very talented uh, video editor, uh, a video producer, director. He wears a lot of hats, does our boy Mark. <laughs> He's great. Uh, and him and Will work together on this, this documentary piece which shows you how Will Ospreay signed off from New Japan Pro Wrestling. I think it's going to be a really special, really emotional watch. Uh, I'm not sure when it's out, but keep an eye on Will Ospreay's Twitter and when it drops, I'm sure Brov will let us all know. <laughs> uh, TNA Sacramento Sacrifice is tonight. Hello, my friend. We meet again. Uh, it's uh, Windsor, Ontario, Canada, live. Let's take a look at the full lineup for the show this evening. Moose is defending the TNA world title against TNA uh, original Eric Young. Oh, we've got Kashida, Alex Shelley, and Chris Sabin up against Mustafa Ali and the GYV. That is going to be fun. Oh, my goodness, yes. Josh Alexander facing Alex Hammerstone. I've been following Alex Hammerstone more on Twitter since he joined TNA. What a meaty man! <laughs> Is he a big meaty, big meaty man? He took a photo in the gym. Can you pull up Alex Hammerstone's legs? Like, look at the state of them! Like, this that is ridiculous it's like a ham from monster hunter it i'm sure it is when the when the cats make the hams that's what it looks like calfzilla looking to <laughs> batter josh alexander uh also um oh you go you I'll give go, us the next one we've got a no dq match between two absolutely insane boys we've got big con versus pco my goodness gracious me that's gonna go hard the rascals are going up against speedball mountain trent seven and mike bailey i had a chat with them this week uh, we talked about them becoming a tag team and I made them play what uh, turned out to be the worst quiz ever uh, and, and I thought do I edit this nah I'm just gonna stick it all you online you can in. you can hear how bad it is on the podcast feed right now big love to Trent Seven Bab and my boy Mike Bailey as well we've got TNA tag team champions ABC up against Eddie Edwards and Brian Myers I think they're gonna I, I, I think they're gonna beat them I think Eddie Edwards Brian think? Myers and Moose holding all the belts Ooh. Ooh. You are teasing me. The New Japan Global Championship being defended on TNA television. Nick Nemeth puts it up against Steve Mackley. And the TNA Knockouts World Champion Jordan Grace is defending her title against Tasha Steeles and Zaya Brookside as well. Girl maths for this one. 33.33% uh, chance of winning <laughs> Pride Sacrifice for Zaya Brookside. Uh, Zaya Brookside herself called it girl maths. We had a chat yesterday uh, and about this match coming up. And do you know that Zaya Brookside, her first match in TNA was Ultimate X. Wow. Uh, she didn't let on that she had a, a full on fear of heights. No. Mm. Oh my goodness. Full on fear of heights and went, you do not want X. She's like, yeah, fine. <laughs> she powered through it. Absolutely. What a trooper. It. Uh, we have a full on, we have full conversation about that. Plus her joining TNA, moving to America and her love of that biscuit Yorkshire tea that we've got. <gasps> It is, the best. It. Yeah. it is the best. It's better than the jam on toast one. And I love the jam on toast one as well, but the biscuit one is where mm. it is at everybody. If you've not tried it, please try it. Not spawn. Not spawn. Please be spawn. Yeah. Please, Yorkshire tea. <laughs> not spawn. Please. Would like to be spawn. <laughs> Uh, you can listen to Zaya Brookside on the podcast feed right now. Final Omar, ECW legend, steps back into the ring very, very soon. Who are we talking about, Andrew? For the first time in almost a year, former ECW champion Raven will be in action. Now, Raven will team with Jimmy Lloyd, Jake Christ, and Akira to face The Calling, which is Sammy Callahan, Cannonball, Talon, and Ricky Shane Page at MLW War Chamber. <laughs> Akira. Chris Lloyd and Raven what a banger Damn. of a team that's oh going to be gosh. amazing uh, they're all going to compete in MLW's trademark war chamber match on Friday March 29th now this will be MLW's first show in the Tampa slash St. Petersburg area in 20, in, oh, in 20 years yeah and they're going big with uh, with two war, ch war chamber matches the first of which being Raven's first match back since MLW Battle Riot last year which was the big Battle Royale type it's, thing wasn't yeah, it it is their annual rumble and they, and they hoid Raven in there and it was lovely to see him back and he's going to get into the mix with the other lads uh, in the first War Chamber match I don't believe the other contenders for War Chamber 2 have been announced but they're going big with two War Chambers this year are MLW uh, and the return of Raven as well you love to see it WWE 2K24 uh, is pretty much here now Adam Pacitti has been playing My Rise for the past few days you can check out on the YouTube channel right now uh, we take a closer look over the weekend don't we 
be at the game as well. Or we've yes, got uh, so sponsored the content sponsor, going sponsor out. list went out yesterday, so you can go and check it out. As I said in the previous video, you can take it with a grain of salt because it's a sponsored video. However, we are having fun with it, and you can make your own minds up by watching the video if you want. See if you want it. I was over the moon when for the when I saw for the first time ever Wolfgang from Gallus is in a wrestling he game. He is in a wrestling game. Yeah. Good afternoon, Barry. <laughs> Barry's a fan. Hiya, Barry. <laughs> Barry, last night you beat Roman Reigns, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Take you to the top. Bar has hashtag Barry all belts. And for the latest wrestling news throughout the day, you can check out cultaholic.com. Kiss, kiss. Love you, bye.